Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. country and to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. A scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Two, color guard dismissed. Okay, I think our next segment is to have a prayer for the opening. And I think Jeremy's going to do the prayer. Tom, we're not getting any sound on the live feed from my understanding. Did you hear me? <laughs> All right, cool. All right. Do you have the prayer? Oh, there you go. The Scout Law Prayer. Whoa, there's sound in here. <laughs> Dear Lord, bless all those here tonight and everywhere who contribute to shape the hearts and minds of young people. Let us remember what they have taught us and apply it daily. When facing deceit and dishonesty, let us be trustworthy. If we see hypocrisy and faithlessness, let us be loyal. Where disregard of others and mere materialism prevail, let us be helpful. When we find people in despair, let us be friendly. In an atmosphere of ill manner, let us be courteous. Where some measure importance in brutality and crudeness, let us be kind. Though law-breaking and rule-scoffing are common, let us be obedient. While others criticize and complain, let us be cheerful. In an environment blighted by waste and extravagance, let us be thrifty. When confronted with danger and temptation, let us be brave. As we see filth and pollution everywhere, let us be clean. While witnessing impiety, let us remember to be reverent. Dear Lord, let us, through you and as scouts, stand out and exude the scout law. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Robert Baden Powell started the Boy Scout program in England. In 1907, he took a group of 22 boys camping on Brown Sea Island. The activities on that first campout included woodcraft, chivalry, life-saving, and patriotism. In 1909, according to legend, an American named William Boyce was lost in London's famous fog. He was guided to his destination by an unknown scout. The boy refused a tip, explaining he was simply doing his duty as a Boy Scout. In February of 1910, the Boy Scouts of America was incorporated. Boys felt that scouting's emphasis on outdoor activity was crucial in producing the type of leaders that America needed. So in February of each year, we celebrate the birthday of scouting in America with a blue and gold celebration. My father, who is here tonight, got me into scouting when I was just a boy and back in the times when we had den mothers and cub scouts, for those that may remember. I continued through Life Scout, did not get my Eagle Scout, but made some great lifelong friends and learned skills along that path. If it wasn't for my dad and other great leaders in the Scouts, I would have missed out on great opportunities for growth. Nick Bauer has been leading this den for the past five years. With his guidance and leadership your, and your support, we have seven Scouts that have decided to continue with the program, crossing over from Cub Scouts to Scouts BSA. Nick is one of the people that has continually gone above and beyond for his dedication to the scouts in his den. Please give a warm welcome to Nick Bauer.
Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Who's excited to be here? Just as excited as me, right? Ian, you're excited? That's good. I'm sure a lot of you are excited, namely the parents who will no longer be receiving my extremely lengthy emails, although I don't know that Mr. Stoker is going to be any better about that. But <laughs> I, tra I trained them well for you. All right. Arrow of Light candidates, would you please come forward and take a seat up here on the stage at your, uh, your name seat when I call your name? Eric Miller. Hudson Bauer. Ian Radebush. Liam Cover, Mark Collins, <clears throat> Reese Dawn, and Titus Wilson. All right. These are your Arrow of Light candidates. I'd like to start the ceremony by addressing the parents and caring adults. I'd like each of the scouts that are here tonight to stand up and give a round of applause for the adults that are here and caring adults also. Thanks, thanks Hudson. <laughs> all right. Uh, you all are the reason that these scouts have made, have made it this far and been successful. Countless trips to activities, support when they struggle, maybe a nudge or two when they're uninterested. And whether or not you know it, showing them what it means to live out the scout law. I can't begin to describe how much fun this journey has been. It's truly been my honor and my privilege to serve as your son's den leader. Though their time in scouting differs, each scout has come a long way and accomplished many great things. You have much to be proud of, but now your scout is ready to move on. More responsibility and even greater challenges lie ahead of them. We have come to the moment in these Excuse me, we've come to the moment these boys have been working toward throughout their entire Cub Scout careers, earning the highest award in Cub Scouting, the Arrow of Light. At this time, I'd like to invite Liam's grandfather up to say a few words. Mr. Cover is an Eagle Scout, chieftain in the tribe of Mikasei, and some of you may even recall that he received the Heart of America's Council Distinguished Eagle Scout Award before a Royals game a few years ago. Mr. Cover? I appreciate the opportunity to say a few words. Although, again, my speech got where you go. My speech got kind of short-circuited by your intro, uh, because yeah, <laughs> kind of got uh, short-circuited by the intro, but that's okay. Uh, again, my name is Gary Cover. I appreciate the opportunity to be here tonight. Um, I'm going to I'm going to tell you why I'm here. And then I'm going to tell you one of the reasons you're here, which again is you've already had some of this, so I'll make it quick. Uh, I'm here because I got four grandsons here tonight, and I'm proud of them. And one of them, Liam, is crossing over tonight. The other reason that I'm here is because, again, I'm undoubtedly the oldest scout in this room, and I've been scouting for a long time. And so, as you were told, the reason you're here tonight, which my son Nicholas forgot, is because this is fundamentally a birthday party. And as you were just told, uh, scouting was started in, Lo in England uh, by a guy named Robert Baden Powell. And then, one, the story goes, one foggy evening in London, uh, American businessman named uh, Boyce, William Boyce was lost and he came across a young man who gave him directions, helped him to his destination. He tried to tip him. The boy said, no, can't take your tip because I'm a scout. That impressed Boyce who then ultimately um, made contact with Baden Powell and as you were just told, started scouting in America in 1910, February the 8th, 1910. So this is fundamentally a birthday party. Just so happens this evening 
is also my birthday, so I get to celebrate that with you as well. Now, as with any birthday party, okay, you need to have birthday presents, you need to have some presents. So to the crossover scouts, as much fun as Cub Scouts has been, and Cub Scouts is great. Oh, by the way, what you didn't tell them was, Cub Scouts were started t 20 years later in 1930. Okay, so at least I can add that to it. Okay. <laughs> and interestingly enough, William Boyce, the founder, not a fan of the younger program. Okay, he was somewhat resistant to the younger program. So Cubs was started in 1930. So, but anyway, this is a birthday party and as much fun as Cubs are, okay, Boy Scouts are even as much or more fun. And one of the opportunities that these young Scouts will have this coming summer is to go to summer camp at Bartle, 10 days. The last remaining 10 day Scout camp in the country and considered pretty much the preeminent Scout camp in the entire country. So we are fortunate in the Kansas City area to have this. So what I brought for him, just give me one. What I brought for him is each of them is a birthday present. A couple of different sizes. And so it's their first H.O. Bartle Scout Reservation t-shirt. Okay. So They'll have that as a present for this evening and hopefully be able to wear it this summer. So with that, I appreciate the opportunity to visit and say a few words to you. Thank you. Thanks, Gary. All right, now on for the ceremony. The arrow of light is the goal you strive for in Cub Scouting. <clears throat> it is much more difficult to obtain than a belt loop, an activity badge, or even one of the several rank advancements. To achieve this goal, you must do the following. Complete four required adventures with your den or family. Those are building a better world, outdoor adventurer, duty to God in action, and the scouting adventure. Complete at least one additional We Below's elective adventure. Complete the Cyber Chip Award and discuss prevention of abuse with your family and loved ones. Be active in the We Below's Den for at least six months. Participate in camps, hikes, and scouting activities. Memorize the Scout Oath and Scout Law, and commit to live by these principles. All of you have been called before the pack because you have satisfied the requirements for Cub Scout's highest award, the Arrow of Light. The Arrow of Light is important. It's the only Cub Scout badge that can be worn on the Boy Scout uniform. But more important than the badge itself is what you have learned, the work you have done to help others, and the fun that you've had while earning it. As a Cub Scout, you have been guided through the Cub Scout trail by help that with the help of many Akelas, such as myself and your parents or caring adults. Soon, when you become a Scout, you'll find that while there are still many people willing to help, you take on more and more responsibility for blazing your own trail. And not just to Eagle, but much further beyond. Along the trail, you'll be faced with many decisions, and at times that trail will seem difficult to follow. Make your, make your choices by always remembering the Scout Law. Arrow of Light Weeblos, would you please stand, present the Cub Scout sign, and recite the Scout Law. That's it. Thanks. You made it this time. Before you is the symbol of the arrow of light, which is represented by a golden arrow with seven rays. The arrow's shaft is straight and narrow, just as the path you should follow. The arrow's tip points the way, the way to success in all that you do. And as you have learned to do your best, 
and with doing your best comes success. The arrow points to the right, a symbol that all is good and pure and within the power to do and should be done. Is the sun rising at your daybreak, a reminder that every day is a new day, a day to do your best, a day to honor God, family, and nation, to do a good turn. First ray represents wisdom, wisdom to use your God-given talents as God intended. The second, yeah. the second ray represents courage, courage to face danger despite fear and despite others' weaknesses. The third ray represents self-control, self-control to live life to the fullest without greed and excess. The fourth ray repeats justice, justice to others, regardless of who they are. The fifth ray re represents faith, faith in God and things unseen, but which we know are true. The sixth ray represents hope, hope for a better tomorrow while working a hard today. The seventh, the seventh ray represents love, love of God, family, country, and others. With the lighting of the candles in our arrow of light, we bring your Cub Scouting career to an end. The lights from the burning candles shine to new adventures ahead of you in Scouts BSA. Do you promise to hold true to the values and skills that you have learned through your years as Cub Scouts? We promise. Do you promise to be leaders and examples to the Cub Scouts who follow in your footsteps? We promise. Then I have the distinct honor to say to you, you are now full-fledged Arrow of Light holders.
trying to make sure the mics don't interfere with each other up here. So, um, in a few moments, each of you will be presented with an arrow made in honor of your accomplishments. He's going to do it. Cool. So Jeremy's going to hold the arrow for everybody to see. That's the point. He's a great model, by the way. He tried, I'm sure Lee, what's that? Nick's holding Oh, Nick, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm like reading the words and not paying attention. So I'm sure Lee is pretty happy with him modeling this at home. He probably did this a few times in a few different ways. Let's not get into it. Um, the wooden shaft gives the arrow strength like the strength the scout promise gives to the scout. The fletchling, the fletching, sorry, helps guide the arrow on a straight and true path like the scout law guides the scout on a straight and true path. The arrowhead points the way to the target like the Weebelow's badge and Arrow of Light requirements have pointed the scout to the ways of Boy Scouting. Each arrow has the same parts, but every arrow is different. It represents each scout's unique trail through Cub Scouting. The black band shows that you earned the Bobcat badge. The light green band shows that you earned the Lion badge. The orange band shows that you earned the Tiger badge. The red band shows that you have earned the Wolf badge. The teal band shows that you have earned the bear badge. The blue band shows that you have earned the Weebelows badge. Narrow bands of gold, silver, green, and white represent the additional electives you have earned. The green, tan, red, and brown bands represent additional awards that you have earned. The yellow band represents your arrow of light. I now like to invite the Scoutmaster for Troop 323, Brian Stoker, to receive and welcome the scouts who plan to continue their scouting journey with the troop. The important parts of your Rebelow Scout uniform are your neckerchief. Yeah, why don't you guys? Eh, they're taking the back way, that'll work. The important parts of your Rebelow Scout uniform are your neckerchief and your shoulder loops. These items were bestowed upon you when you became a member of the Weebelows. They identified you as a Weebelow Scout. Tonight, you will be leaving Cub Scouting. Your trail in scouting does not end in Cub Scouts. It is only the beginning, for you have prepared yourself to be Scouts. The bridge before you is a symbol of your crossing from Cub Scouts to Scouts BSA. It is a means of connection and transition from one side to another. This bridge represents how a pack is connected to a troop. Parents and caring adults, when your scout's name is called, please join them on stage. You'll have an opportunity to take photos with them before removing uh, his Weebelo neckerchief and blue shoulder loops. We'd like to start with Eric Miller. Eric, if you want to stand up here and then your parents can come up here. You guys want to, is this area okay? All right, cool, all right. Um, wherever you guys want to get comfortable. Eric has earned his Bobcat, Bobcat badge, attended many campouts, earned the Whittling Chip, Cyber Chip Award, and the Arrow of Light. Eric, is there anything you'd like to share, favorite memory, most important thing you've learned, or something you're looking forward to in Boy Scouts? Here, say it again. <laughs> Sorry, I meant to give you the mic. Oh, uh, now that I know, now that I know Camp Bartle isn't like true, That's true camping, I feel a lot better about that. Because the first camp out I actually stayed at, uh, it was kind of miserable sleeping. So I'm kind of happy. <laughs> The photos? All right. Um, do you want me to hold on to that? Oh, oh. All right, hang on. Wait. You gotta take all this neckerchief and. Yeah.
Yeah, and just leave them undone. Please. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Eric has met all of the necessary requirements and is prepared to become a scout. Scoutmaster of Troop 323, will you accept Eric into your troop? It would be our pleasure to accept Eric into Troop 323. Okay. Hudson Bauer, come to the front. It's gonna be you guys. All right, cool. <laughs> yep, modeling of the arrow. Um, Hudson has earned his Bobcat badge. Tiger, Wolf, Bear, and Wee Below's ranks, attended many camps and campouts, earned the Whittling Chip, Shooting Stars, Shooting, sorry, Shooting Sports Award, Cyber Chip Award, Outdoor Activity Award, World Conservation Award, Recruiter Award, and the Arrow of Light. Hudson, is there anything you'd like to share? Yes. Get comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you can hold it? All right, hold it. One of my favorite things about joining scouts would have to be going on campouts. I always love the fresh air and being around nature, and s'mores by the campfire were always the best. I have, to, I have also enjoyed participating in the Pinewood Derby. I've loved trying to engineer the fastest and coolest looking car so I could try to win the race. It was exhilarating to see the cars race down the track. Even if I didn't win every time, it was still a great experience overall. I would like to take a moment to thank my dad. He's been our DIN leader for most of my Cub Scout years and has always been there when I needed help or didn't understand a project we are doing. I have really enjoyed getting to spend this extra time with him. Before I bridge over to Boy Scouts, I would like to say that scouting has been one of the most exciting experiences of my life. I have made a lot of new friends and lifelong friend I've made a lot of new and lifelong friendships over these last five years, and I hope to continue having great experiences in Boy Scouts. Thank you. Do you guys want us to get a picture? Hudson has met all the necessary requirements and is prepared to become a scout. Scoutmaster of Troop 323, will you accept Hudson into your troop? It would be our pleasure to accept Hudson into Troop Well, this next one's special. <laughs> so, I mean, they're all special. But for me, this is special because I get to announce my son. Um, Ian Routabush, why don't you come forward?
Sorry, Tom. <laughs> Ian has earned his Bobcat badge, Tiger, Wolf, Bear, and Weeblow's ranks, attended many camps and campouts, earned the Whittling Chip, Shooting Sports Award, Cyber Chip Award, Outdoor Activity Award, World Conservation Award, and the Recruiter Award, and the Arrow of Light. Ian, is there anything you'd like to share? Yes. Sometimes I like to take a moment and reflect on my scout journey. I started Cub Scouts as just a simple tiger. I felt like this activity would not be fitting for me, but I stuck with it. I had some ups and downs along the way, but after five years, I am finally here tonight on this stage getting my arrow of light. I would also like to give credit to my dad. He gave me lots of support throughout my Cub Scout journey, so thank you for that. I'm, look, I'm looking forward to my next adventure in Boy Scouts. Ian has met all of the necessary requirements and is prepared to become a scout. Scoutmaster of Troop 323, will you accept Ian into your troop? It would be our pleasure to accept Ian into Troop Liam has earned his Bobcat badge, Lion, Tiger, Wolf, Bear, and Weebelow's ranks, attended many camps and campouts, earned the Whittling Chip, Shooting Sports Award, Cyber Chip Award, Outdoor Activity Award, World Conservation Award, and the Arrow of Light. Liam, is there anything you'd like to share? Um, like you said, my name is Liam Culver, and I have been a Cub Scout for six years or since kindergarten. One of my favorite memories was watching the belly flop contest at summer camp. I also loved watching the cars race down the track at the Pinewood Derby, even though my brother always beat me. <laughs> I especially loved learning how to whittle and making the most delicious s'mores at camp outs. Mm. In Boy Scouts, I'm looking forward to summer camps and bonding with all the other boys. I'm also excited to go on a camp out every month. Finally, I would just like to say that I have loved Scouts so much and it's such a great experience. I think that all you other Scouts should continue all the way through. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Avery, are you good? See, the trick in Cub Scouts is you, you tie a knot around their neckerchief, and then this is the only time that that gets you. <laughs> Liam has met all of the necessary requirements and is prepared to become a scout. Scoutmaster of Troop 323, will you accept Liam into your troop? Okay. 
Titus Wilson. <laughs> Did I hear you say I knew it? I mean, this was going to happen, right? <laughs> Sorry to have a little fun. Um, Titus has earned his bobcat badge, lion, tiger, wolf, bear, and we below's ranks, attended many camps and campouts, earned the whittling chip, shooting sports award, cyber chip award, world conservation award, and the arrow of light. Titus, is there anything you'd like to share? Uh, I, um, I started as a lion and I really liked the um, haunted houses. Mm. And first of all, I did not attend many <laughs> camp outs. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to Boy Scouts, and I'm going to try to get my Eagle badge before my dad. And he, um, he got it at like 13. Huh? Oh, boy. You got a lot of work to do there. Yeah. yeah, so I'm honored to be um, going into Boy Scout. They're going to get your picture. And before, if you guys want to get a picture, she'll take it. Titus has met all the necessary requirements and is prepared to become a scout. Scoutmaster of Troop 323, will you accept Titus into your, into your troop? It would be our pleasure to accept Titus into Troop 323. Go ahead. It's What, uh, what is going on over there? We, we what are you guys doing? Discuss a couple of these last two. Just, oh, to make sure you're going to discuss the last two. Hmm. <laughs> sure why that's going on. Is it, does it have to do with... We came to a consensus. We're, we're okay to go forward. Oh, okay. So we'll go forward then. That was close. It was a close one. I was worried I, too. I <laughs> Thank you, Scoutmaster. Mark Collins, why don't you come forward? Mark has earned his bobcat badge, lion, tiger, wolf, bear, and Weebelow's ranks. Attended many camps and campouts, earned the whittling chip, shooting sports award, cyber chip award, outdoor activity award, world conservation award, and the arrow of light. Mark, is there anything you'd like to share? I've been a lion, or it says kindergarten. My favorite memories are Pinewood Derby, summer camp, family campouts, Halloween costume context, and trunk or tree. I'm looking forward to being with them more and being forward to more Boy Scouts. Mark has met all of the necessary requirements and is prepared to become a scout. Scoutmaster of Troop 323, will you accept Mark into your troop? It would be our pleasure to accept Mark into Troop 
Reese Dawn, come on up. Reese has earned his bobcat badge, lion, tiger, wolf, bear, and Weebelow's ranks. Attended many camps and campouts, earned the whittling chip, shooting sports award, cyber chip award, outdoor activity award, world conservation award, and the arrow of light. Reese, is there anything you'd like to share? Yes. I've been in Cub Scouts for six years. I've been my, some of my favorite memories are going to summer camp and doing outdoor activities. I am thankful for the leaders that have helped me grow. I am excited about Boy Scouts because of all the cool experiences I will be, get to be a part of. <laughs> Reese has met all of the necessary requirements and is prepared to become a scout. Scoutmaster of Troop 323, will you accept Reese into your troop? So real quick, the reason they had that little fun up there was because these guys have brothers in the troop. We thought it would be fun to do a little, little skit up here to welcome them to the troop. So, and then Travis? Yes, certainly. So uh, I have some adult leaders uh, who have met all the necessary requirements and prepared themselves for entrance into the troop. So scout master of troop 323, uh, would you accept Rob Routabush into the troop? I think we need to talk quietly. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fair. You don't know what I'm doing. You remember that other day we had the problem with that? Do you think he makes coffee in the morning? He doesn't make good coffee. He doesn't make good coffee. He doesn't make good coffee. We need good coffee. Yeah. All right. Come join us. <laughs> Next up, I have Nick Bauer, uh, Scoutmaster of uh, Troop 323. Will you accept him into your troop? Did you hear what he did at camp last summer? <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. That stunk. <laughs> it, it get worse. It get worse. <laughs> After his coffee. And <laughs> oh, that's going to be interesting. Well, I don't think we have a choice. No, we don't. All right. OK. Come join us, Troop 323. And uh, last but certainly not least, I have Jeremy Cover. So would uh, Scoutmaster of Troop 323, will you accept him into your troop? Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes. Stories on him are worse. He already knows. You already talked to him about cooking breakfast so we can sleep in. Great. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. You're good? Yeah, come join us. <laughs> good. Well, you don't need a megaphone with this one. No, he's good. <laughs> the volume in here works. <laughs> yeah. 
We'll see if the bridge rolls down. <laughs> a little skeptical. It's only about 45 years old. <laughs> <laughs> a few things, a few things. As we wrap up our 2024 Blue and Gold Banquet, let's give a big thank you to the parents. Um, the charter organization representative, Barb Shaver, she's, she does so much work for us. Um, she's sitting way back there, but she, um, she's here for us, uh, the troop and the pack, to help uh, liaise between the church and our units. So thanks, Barb, for all you do. Uh, Tom Eagle is in the back here. He's been able to stream this all and put the mics together and stuff. Um, he's been great. Um, and then uh, I also wanted to thank the scout troop and support from Brian Stoker and other adult leaders in the troop for working to bring the pack and troop closer together this year. Um, and then, Jeremy, I think you've got something. So, uh, as my dad Gary mentioned, it's his birthday. And uh, obviously, scouting means a lot to him, and it happens to be his 70th birthday. And since we're here uh, with him on his 70th birthday, I'd uh, like for you all to join us in singing happy birthday to him with the rest of the family. And then uh, after we're done here, when we do, we'll, we'll be doing a cake and everything back in the fellowship hall. Uh, as a tradition in our family, we have a Rice Krispie Treat number, uh, 70, which is what uh, we do. And so we'll be serving that also if you're interested in that in addition to the cake. So uh, with that, I'll, uh, let's go. Avery, go ahead. Lead us off. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gary. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Thank you for indulging us. All right, thanks, everybody. You can go back to the fellowship hall and we can eat get some, some cake. Get some cake. Pick it up.